What's going on guys, Davion here with 777's Wide Bro Club with an update video for Evolve AI. Unfortunately, over the past two or three weeks, had some technical issues, switched to a new camera, switched to a new laptop, uh, memory card got corrupted, and by the time it was all sorted out, uh, it was time for me to do my deload. I figured nobody wanted to see me squat some light weight, so I decided to go ahead and use this video um, as an opportunity to show kind of the screen that you'll see in between, like switching from a hypertrophy phase uh, to a strength phase, and then most likely from a strength phase into a peaking phase as well as picking your assistance movements and kind of your accessories when you move uh, forward to the new block. So I'm going to go ahead and start a little bit of a uh, screen record here, and then we'll see. So um, this screen that we're actually looking at here, basically what I did is after I finished my purchase block, you know, it then takes all of your information. You select whether you want to make any sort of modifications. And then here, it'll kind of show you your average readiness. It'll show you your, uh, your MED, your MRV, and kind of any sort of adjustment. So um, as an example here, if we actually take a look at my hypertrophy here, it'll show kind of um, the amount of like sets that you'll end up doing, and it'll actually show any sort of adjustment. So uh, for my squat here, um, initially I was on a two uh, day or, or a, a two times weekly for hypertrophy. However, now it's showing me like a 2.25. So that would probably be like a lighter assistance movement for, you know, lower body. Um, it'll also show you if you're getting any sort of adjustments within your periodization as well. Um, so it looks like for my periodization for hypertrophy blocks going forward, it'll switch me from an alternating periodization to a linear periodization. So what it's doing is actually taking a look at your progression, your RPEs, what you're inputting, and then it's gonna, you know, kind of adjust. So which one of these is better for you? And I think this is kind of really what makes AI-based applications very, very useful because, you know, we're busy. A lot of people uh, here aren't gonna have the opportunity to really kind of dig deep into the weeds of programming and really know those things. However, you know, if you trust your algorithm and you're putting in the proper information within this application, it'll kind of, you know, push you in the right direction as well. And from my previous experience with other AI-based apps, I found that to be uh, a pretty good way uh, to go ahead and use your, um, a, a pretty good way uh, to actually uh, plan your training going forward. Um, we won't go into the specifics for every single last one of these, but I just want to give everybody a little bit of a sneak peek on what it looks like when you're switching between those two blocks. So um, I'm fine with these different type of changes. I'll trust in the programming and then I'll actually click let's go. So uh, anybody who's been around for my like week one, week two and week three videos, I was training five days a week. However, I made the decision to switch to a four day a week plan. Um, just because I have a little bit more busy stuff going on um, in my life right now. So condensing those into less sessions during the week is probably going to work a little bit better for me. So what I actually want to do now um, is take a look here, go through and uh, go ahead and select those assistance movements uh, that I have uh, or that I'm going to be doing uh, for this uh, first strength block here. So let's go ahead and take a look into day one. And I really don't know what um, to expect or what I'm going to have for these um, specific strength block here. So let's take a look. So on day one. Uh, we have comp squats, dumbbell lateral raise, uh, GHR, and now it's going to tell me to go ahead and select a quad exercise, a posterior chain exercise, and an ab exercise. So right off the bat, I do lift in a garage gym, so I do have somewhat limited uh, equipment. So I don't have a GHR, so that's definitely going to have to change. So it's going to go ahead and give you um, some um, potential options uh, for what you should be doing. So um, for this one here, I'm probably going to go ahead and select the dumbbell um, RDL because I do have uh, kind of medium heavy dumbbells um, th that could potentially work for me. So I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, for the quad base exercise here, again, limited exercise, but because I do have a decent set of dumbbells, I'll be doing goblet squats um, to add into that. For the posterior chain exercise, we'll take a look and see what they give. So back raise, banding good morning, hip thrusts, um, hamstring curls, pull throughs, um, you know, give some glute bridges and things like that. So I'm going to I'm going to select pull throughs because it's something that I actually have uh, the equipment to do. And then for my ab exercise, uh, band pull over dead bugs. Those things are horrible, but um, I, I, I assume, you know, they're working pretty well since they suck so much. And then we'll hop over into day two. So Spoto press. And then now I have four other um, assistance movements that um, aren't here. So what I like to do when I'm selecting these movements is kind of go through the other days. I want to make sure that kind of how I have it set up is as easy as possible for me. Um, and it's not going to be a crazy amount of setup or I'm not doing seven barbell movements in a day or anything like that because, you know, the racking and the unracking of weights, it's going to take a lot of time. And, you know, even if I have limited uh, equipment, you know, you can still train smart and try to be as efficient as possible. So um, I did have a really good time with Spoto Press during my hypertrophy block. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Spoto Press. 
um, in there. So let's see for a back exercise. Now, if we actually jump ahead probably to day three, it's actually giving me um, another back exercise and there's bent over rows here. Now, because I have comp deadlift that day, I'm gonna leave bent over rows there because it's gonna be easier to set up. I can just strip off the weights and hop right into uh, bent over rows instead of, you know, changing a, you know, a barbell in my rack to the floor, you know, into the deadlift jack to then do um, some sort of row. So I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna take a look at my fourth day as well and see what I have. So I do have another back movement on that day as well. So if we come back to day number two, so for the back movement for that day, I'm gonna do a one arm lat pull down. I've actually um, enjoyed that movement a lot. For my shoulder exercises, um, we'll go ahead and do dumbbell military press. For my tricep exercise, we'll probably just go ahead and do one, one arm tricep pull downs. And then for my bicep exercise, um, we'll go ahead and do alternating hammer curls. Then we'll go ahead and hop over to day three, take a look at what we have there. So again, we have our comp deadlift and our uh, bent over rows. And again, posterior chain exercise, quad exercise, and then another ab exercise. So for this date, I, I'm going to do good mornings. Now, what I'll actually do here is, is I'll actually make a new movement because I actually like doing good mornings with um, the safety squat bar. Um, but that's not something that's in there normally. It's only going to be um, just your normal, you know, your normal uh, barbell good mornings. And I guess you can probably just leave this in here um, and not make any sort of um, adjustments. So this is abandoned good morning. But if you were doing a regular good morning here, um, I'm sure you can just do this. But uh, just for the sake of consistency, since, you know, I'll probably end up doing some regular barbell good mornings at some point, I'm going to go ahead and make a new movement here. So we'll go ahead and call that SSB. Good mornings. Uh, for the preferred rep range, I'll say medium, and then, you know, we'll go hammies. And we'll go ahead and create that exercise. So now, um, for that movement, um, I'm gonna go ahead and select, you know, for the rest of this block. So now, that new exercise that I created is gonna be in there. And it should be easy because I'll just have the regular barbell on the ground in the jack and then I'll set up the rack with the SSB bar. So hopefully it should be a little bit easier um, for the quad exercise there. Um, once again, limited equipment. Uh, hopefully I look to maybe get some sort of leg extension machine in here at some point. Um, but that's all I have for now. So I'll do. We'll do some split squats. Let's do rear foot elevated split squats be easy to set up and then again back to ab exercising and i'll do a ab wheel again horrible but just goes to show that i have a weak core and then lastly day four so we have comp bench and then we have another back exercise so if we look back so for the back exercises that i have we have a a barbell bent over row as well as a overhead pull down so if we take a look at the back exercises here, you know, I like to try to switch it up just a little bit. So because it's going to be easy to set up and I do have the pulley on the back of the squat rack, I'll do one arm cable rows because it's just going to be a lot easier to set up and, 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 and kind of mix in between um, for my shoulder um, workout. So we are already doing uh, dumbbell um, dumbbell shoulder press there. So for my next movement, this is normally a little bit of a tough one. Um, mm, let's go with dumbbell Arnold press. I can still use my dumbbells and it's gonna be easy to kind of set up, easier to put away, not taking up too much time. And then for the tricep exercises, um, I already had a one arm tricep pull down. So I'd like to do some sort of like behind extension. So. Um, I did this a couple of weeks ago in one of the videos, but we had the um, overhead dumbbell extensions, which I should have kind of in my um, exercise here. Um, so we'll select this here. I think that's cable, so I'll probably go back and make another movement that's going to be the actual dumbbell movement and not the cable movement. And then lastly, another bicep movement. Um, 
you know, we already have a hammer curl uh, there. Um, so I actually really like the like the behind um, kind of uh, cable curls. And I should have that actually in my created exercise. And if not, we'll make it. OK. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Single arm cable curl. I actually like kind of the contraction is pulling all the way back. And that's kind of how, you know, you set up uh, your app going forward. So again, you know, once you switch from different sort of blocks, it's going to go over any sort of adjustments within the program type that you're going to have. And then switching to any sort of block, you know, whenever you have, you know, you're going to have your main movements, which you can make some adjustments to. So if you're not happy with like how it gave me a spoto press, if you want to do more comp bench, you want to do more pause benching or anything like that, you can make that adjustment earlier on um, in the process. Or, you know, you can leave whatever the app gives you. I've had a pretty good time just using kind of what the app suggests for me. And then you want to go in and then make some sort of adjustments um, to your assistance, um, your accessory movements as well. But uh, I think that's going to be all for today. Uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support that I've had, all the comments that I've received, um, all the new subscribers that I've received, all the views on certain videos. You know, I just decided to kind of, you know, throw out there and maybe, you know, uh, assist some people who are kind of confused between, um, the available AI apps like I was and because I did spend time uh, using, um, you know, Juggernaut, I just wanted to kind of maybe I can give some somebody some tips or something like that that's going to help them make the proper decision for what they're going to be doing in the future. Uh, but that's all that I have for today, guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic day um, and uh, keep on lifting.